All right, for a quick review. Platelets first adhere to injured collagen by binding von Willebrand factor by glycoprotein 1b. This leads to the release of calcium and ADP from the platelet. This ADP then binds an ADP receptor of another platelet, which leads to activation and expression of glycoprotein 2b 3a receptors. This glycoprotein 2b 3a receptor binds fibrinogen and other glycoprotein 2b 3a receptors and crosslinks other platelets, forming the platelet plug. Some antiplatelet medications act by irreversibly blocking the ADP receptor, as you can see here. These medications include clopidogrel, ticlopidine, prasugrel, and ticagrelor. So when these medications block the ADP receptor, what does this actually do? Well, by blocking the ADP receptor, glycoprotein 2b3a is never expressed, and therefore platelets can't crosslink with fibrinogen and other platelets to form the platelet plug. So when are these ADP receptors used? Well, they are commonly used in acute coronary syndrome, which would include ST segment elevation MIs, non ST segment elevation MIs, and unstable angina. They are also commonly used in coronary stenting and used to decrease the recurrence of thrombotic strokes. The most common side effect of these medications is bleeding, but for diclopidine in particular, it can cause neutropenia, and due to this side effect, this is why clopidogrel, prasugrel, and ticagrelor are often preferred.